All right, Michael, thank you very much. And another divisional game, very close. Uh, familiarity breeds, well, maybe close football. There is one rivalry in pro football that's happened more than any other, the Packers and the Bears. But if you, you think about it, uh, lately when the Packers have been good, the Bears, for all intents and purposes, have not been contenders in the 90s and the 80s. The other way, Bears, Super Bowl shuffling, Green Bay, not a contender. You have to go really back to the 60s when Lombardi and Hallis were still coaching their teams. 61-62, the Pack won. 63, the Bears won. Up until now, they're both contenders. It was a pleasure to see the Packers and the Bears play for the 162nd time with added gusto. For first place in the NFC Norris division, both big-time contenders. Brett Favre has won seven straight at Soldier Field, the home of all the miracles. But early on, Z Favre to Bill Schrader, 41-yard touchdown. 17-12, pack through three. Hey, now. Fourth quarter, the score, 20-12, to pack. The Bears, will we have a third straight Sunday miracle at Soldier Field. Jim Miller, Marty Booker, making things happen. 25-yard pickup. Minute 17 to go. Fourth and three. Miller, Booker, first down, drive alive. But fourth and four with 39 seconds to go. James Allen, who caught the Hail Mary last week at the end of regulation against Cleveland, couldn't get this one 20 to 12 back. To come on the road and beat a team who's leading the division. Um, I mean, it, it was just uh, huge for us and, and a, a great confidence builder. And like I say, it was one of those games where you knew it would come down to a play or two at the end. And uh, it's nice to win those type of games, especially on the road. Uh, but I, I tell you what, I have a lot of respect for Chicago and what they've done. And and uh, that hasn't wavered one bit. I mean, they, they, they are a damn good football team. So the Packers and the Bears each at 6-2. and two. San Francisco's Steve Mariucci, Terrell Owens. Maybe not always on the same page, but when it comes to playing on Sunday, boy, do they and the Niners have the right pages out in the playbook. Jeff Garcia to Owens, touchdown. He had two, and the kid has a souvenir. Nice move. It's 14-3 San Francisco over the Saints. Aaron Brooks, last December, ran for 100 yards at the stick against the Niners. The Joe Little Bighorn, who literally quiets the crowd. Saints leading 24-21 in the fourth. Niners. It's Garcia to Eric Johnson from Yale. The Ivy Leaguer puts the Niners ahead 28-24 with the score. 28-27 late fourth. Garrison Hurts had a buck 45. First 100-yard rushing game for him this year. The Niners run out the clock, and they beat the Saints 28-27. San Francisco is 6-2 like days of old. Miami knocked the Colts out of the playoffs last year in overtime. They've won three straight in Indy. Peyton Manning. Colts want to move up in the standings in the AFC East. Marvin Harrison, touchdown, 40 yards, 24-17, Indy. With the Colts leading 24-20, Manning is drilled by Bromell and Derek Rogers. Hayden left with a bloody lower lip. They'll have x-rays later. Hopefully, there's not damage worse than what you just saw. Dominique Rhodes took a handoff. He fumbled it. Jason Taylor recovers. Miami's ball. For Dave Wanstad. On the Colts 29, beautiful play action from Jay Fiedler to Chris Chambers, one of the Chambers brothers. Time has come today. 27 24. The Colts trail. Manning now back in after missing a series. Incomplete on fourth down to Terrence Wilkins. The Dolphins win 27 24. Uh, I don't have much to talk about. The guy knocked the out of me. And, uh, and just, I came here, I guess, I came here, got me in the front. I guess he got me in the front, I guess. But just, you know, bottom of my teeth, my chin, pretty, pretty sore. This halftime show is presented by Toyota. Get the feeling. Those were real tight division games. Here's one in the division you're watching, the AFC West. With the Chargers and the Bolts, and then the bus against the Browns. We showed some of the action, and of course, after Monday night when the Raiders manhandled the Denver Broncos, they were looking down at everyone else in the AFC West. The closest team going in today, five and three Chargers. They're at four and four Denver. Who would start to climb back up to at least get within breathing space of the Raiders? Brian Greasy, Desmond Clark, 18-yard touchdown. 
Doug Flutie, pass behind LaDainian Tomlinson, intercepted by Daz Mobley. He returns it to the three, sets up a TD. Then Brian Greasy, just ball on play action, doesn't have any action. Rayleigh Johnson, touchdown, Chargers within 10, 26, 16. And Doug Flutie was picked off three times late in the game. Four overall, the Broncos win 26-16. Steelers, Browns, two contenders now, a rivalry reborn. Tim Couch, O.J. Santiago, 9-0 Cleveland. But an overtime tie to 12. Look at Jerome Bettis. Percy, Mercy, Ellsworth help setting up. Chris Brown, 32 yards away. He missed four last week. Kick five this week. Good. 15-12, first place, Pittsburgh. You had a feeling Philadelphia would start to have a come-out party on offense at home one of these days. Unfortunately for the Vikings, stay with the victims. Donovan McNabb, touchdown, 48-17, the Eagles. Giants in the desert at the cards. One week after was New York and Arizona in baseball. This time, New York wins it. Kerry Collins, I kill your 17-10 Giants. Marshall Falk, early on. Rams off a bye. Falk missed games before that. He had 183 yards. The Rams sliced and diced the Panthers, 48-14. Leading rusher in the NFL is Curtis, my favorite, Martin. He had three touchdowns as the Jets beat the Chiefs 27-7. One time, Bill, now Patriot, Anton Smith. Scored twice, including his superior run. 42 yards, it salted it away. 21-11, Patriots. The Bengals at the Jaguars. Jags snap a five-game losing streak. Mark Brunel to Keenan McCardell, 30-13 over the Bengals. Cowboys and Falcons, Ryan Leaf against Mike Vick. Vick to Algie Crumpler, looking like Plankton. Into the end zone, 20 to 13. Hotlanta, they're four and four. And the Detroit Lions tried. They got back in the game against the Bucks. The Martin Gramatica, 35 yard field goal, good. Detroit 0 at eight, the Bucks four and four. Tampa Bay wins it, 20 to 17. Monday Night Football on ABC, the champion Ravens. At the Tennessee Titans, can they get back in this thing and beat the team that bounced them from the playoffs last year? ABC has it at 9 Eastern, 7 Mountain. Rich Gannon, Tim Brown, four-yard touchdown, but the Raiders still looking up at the Seahawks, 13-10 at the half more in a moment.